Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at the best way to germinate seeds for hydroponics. And we're starting right now. What's up guys, my name is John. Welcome to another video. If it's your first time here and you want to learn more about sustainable gardening, gardening tips and tricks, and DIY hydroponics, Start now by clicking the subscribe button and clicking the bell notification so you don't miss out on a thing. All right guys, so we are back and we are talking about the best way of germinating seeds for hydroponics today. Uh, and so I've been doing hydroponics for a little while now and I've found that the best way uh, of germinating seeds is using rock wool cubes. Now, you can do it in a number of different ways. Uh, you can use just soil or like a seed starting mix, germinate your seed, and then simply once the plant gets a little bit bigger, you can wash the soil off and put that plant into a rock wool cube. Uh, maybe if you don't have these on hand uh, right away, that's a good way to do it. Uh, but if you have the rock wool cubes, definitely recommend just going ahead and using those. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is I've got a little container of water uh, it's just plain old tap water, nothing special about it. But the main thing you want to do, this rock wool cube uh, needs to be hydrated. Uh, it's really super simple. All you do is you take the rock wool cube and you just dip it in the water. Okay? That's literally all it takes. Now, what I actually do is I tend to squeeze it just a little bit and I want to squeeze some of that water out just like that. Now, if you squeeze too much, you can actually break down the rock wool cube and it can be difficult uh, for plants to really push through. So you just wanna push just a little bit. Okay, once you have the one done, I'm gonna just use this little tray, just like that. So I'm gonna do a couple more, just like this, dry rock wool cubes into the water, super simple. Now, as you do, the, the more and more you do, Obviously, your water level is going to go down. So you may have to get a little bit more water if you're doing a bunch of rock wool cubes. And guys, I've started all sorts of things in rock wool, cube, uh, rock wool cubes. Uh, I've started cucumbers. I've started basils. I've started uh, kale, uh, pak choy, broccoli, peppers, tomatoes, the whole nine yards <clears throat> in these little cubes. And it's really super simple. And I find that it really does make a difference over soil. Uh, seeds that are planted in rock wool cubes generally sprout, to, at least in my experience, they sprout a little bit sooner. Um, so definitely something to keep in mind, especially if you're going to play with hydroponics. I'm going to do a couple more. And once you start getting low on water, you can just kind of roll them around in it. Remember, squeeze out the excess. I'd squeeze out the excess because I really don't want it to cause a mold issue. Um, it, it shouldn't, but I don't want it to, so just a personal preference. And just to give myself an even number, I'm going to do one more. Got to be even. There we go. Squeeze out the excess. And the really cool thing about this is when you go and it, when, you, when, when it's time to water your seedlings again, um, this is a lot like a, a potting soil or a seed starting mix in the sense that once it dries out, once, you, once it's getting close to the time to water again, these cubes will change color. I mean, you can tell this is moist, this is dry. So that's a really cool feature too. All right. So today I'm going to be starting some pepper seeds uh, in here and we're going to use the purple jalapeno. And what I find is I generally put three seeds in one of these guys. Not for any really particular reason but it's a good number. You don't want to put one seed and be waiting just to, you know, maybe you've had a bad seed or who knows what, but you want to put a couple seeds in there just to make sure that you're going to get germination. Now, 
With that being said, let me show you some seeds that I've already started in broccoli. Now these are peppers. And you can see that some of these cubes, <laughs> I have three seedlings in this one and three seedlings in this one. Um, so it's a really effective way. That's one tray that I've started. Uh, these will be transplanted out uh, of these cubes in probably another day or two. I've got some more I'm waiting for them to sprout. And then I've also got this tray as well. So just like that one, you can see that a lot of these have three seedlings. Um, it's a great way to start seeds. They're easy to transplant. I'll, I'll do another video on how to transplant them out of the rock wool into, uh, you can take them from rock wool and put them in the soil. You can take them from rock wool and put them directly into a hydroponic setup. Uh, and I'll have videos on some little simple DIY hydroponic setups. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. Uh, if you're growing peppers or anything hydroponically this year, drop me a line in the comment section below letting me know what you're growing and, and maybe how you're growing it. So, uh, if you're new, drop me a hashtag new in the comment section below and I'll welcome you appropriately. And if you want to learn more about sustainable gardening, gardening tips and tricks, and other hydroponic videos. Start now by clicking the subscribe icon and clicking the bell so you don't miss out on a thing. Well, that's it. Thanks everyone for watching and I will see you in the next video.